whispers from the void. In the year of our emperor, 41,026, the Imperial Inquisitor Mordecai Gavrel descended upon the forsaken orb of Chaosithra, a world shrouded in enigma and cloaked in a perpetual twilight of despair. His vessel, the Harbinger of Truth, cut through the brooding mists that clung to the planet like a mournful shroud, hiding its secrets in the gloom. The landscape that greeted Gavril was one of desolation and despondency. The terrain of Chaosithra was as fractured as the psyche of its inhabitants, marked by jagged mountains and deep ravines akin to the scars of some great celestial conflict. The air was thick and oppressive, filled with an aura of palpable dread, as if the planet itself was a sentient being, wary of the unbidden guest that trespassed upon its surface. Upon disembarking, Gavrel was met by an aide, a gaunt figure named Elazar, whose eyes held the haunted look of one who had seen the unseen. Elazar spoke in hushed tones, his voice barely rising above the whisper of the wind as he recounted tales of the Cult of the Void, a sect as mysterious as it was disquieting. He professed knowledge of their whereabouts and offered his services in navigating the treacherous social landscape of Chaosithra. Guided by Elazar, Gavrel ventured into the heart of an isolated settlement, a congregation of souls as hard and unyielding as the land they inhabited. There, amidst the stark edifices and shadowed alleys, he found the Cult of the Void, unlike the frenzied devotees of chaos he had encountered in his many years of service. These cultists were an aberration, their calm demeanor as unsettling as their cryptic speech. The cult meeting was an exercise in otherworldly ritual, devoid of the savage brutality so often associated with heretical worship. They spoke in riddles, their words weaving a tapestry of cosmic horror that seemed to transcend the boundaries of mortal understanding. Their chants resonated with an eerie harmony, in tune with the somber vibrations of Chaosithra itself. As Gavrel observed, hidden within the shadows, he felt a chilling sense of unease. There was something profoundly disturbing about the cult's practices, a sense of dread that gnawed at the edges of his mind. It was as though the very fabric of reality thinned in their presence, revealing glimpses of an unfathomable abyss. Gavrel, a man scarred by the horrors he had witnessed and the secrets he had unearthed, found himself both repelled and inexplicably drawn to the enigmatic doctrine of the Cult of the Void. His quest for knowledge, a flame that had long burned within him, flickered with renewed vigor in the face of this new, inscrutable mystery. In the forsaken shadows of Chaosithra, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavril, driven by an insatiable thirst for the forbidden, ventured into the enigmatic ruins that lay scattered like the bones of a long-dead leviathan across the planet's barren landscape. These ancient relics whispered of a civilization that had once gazed too intently into the abyss, their cryptic carvings and eroded artifacts hinting at a cosmic horror far surpassing the heresies known to the Imperium. As Gavril delved into these remnants, the planet seemed to respond with a palpable dread. Shadows moved with sinister intent, stretching and twisting in unnatural contortions. Whispers emanated from the bowels of the earth, their words an unintelligible yet ominous portent. Guided by his aid, Elazar, a figure as inscrutable as the planet itself, Gavrel's quest led him to the heart of the Cult of the Void. Their practices, eerily serene and laden with cryptic symbolism, were not the ravings of chaos worshippers, but the devout rituals of acolytes, worshipping an entity beyond comprehension. The Great Void, this cosmic force embodying the essence of nihilism and the abyss, was not a deity, but an eternal moor of darkness, an ever-present hunger at the fringes of existence. In his relentless pursuit of knowledge, 
Gavrel uncovered evidence that the cult's beliefs were not mere fantasy, but accurate representations of a cosmic truth. The Great Void was a force antithetical to the very nature of reality, a paradoxical entity that sought the annihilation of all. The oppressive air of Chaos Ithra grew heavier with each revelation, as if the planet itself conspired to conceal its dark secrets. In his dreams, Gavril was tormented by apocalyptic visions, vast voids where stars and worlds once thrived, now devoured by an insatiable darkness. These nightmares left him gasping, a primal fear gripping his heart, as if the great void itself was reaching out from the cosmos, touching the core of his being. Elazar, his enigmatic aide, remained a silent observer, his stoic presence a constant reminder of the impenetrable mysteries that shrouded Chaosithra. His watchful eyes seemed to hold secrets too profound for mortal understanding. As Gavril stood amidst the ruins, the realization dawned upon him. The cult of the Void worshipped not a deity in the traditional sense, but the embodiment of the end of all things. This revelation shook the very foundations of his beliefs, whispering of a fate far grimmer than death or damnation. In the haunting silence of Chaosithra's desolate expanses, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavril stood alone, confronted with the immutable truth that the universe was far older and stranger than he had ever imagined. It was a truth that threatened to shatter his sanity, a siren call to a madness that lay waiting in the dark recesses of the cosmos, where even, how dare he to even think it, the Emperor's light could not reach. It was in the shadow of an ancient rune-etched monolith where the air hummed with latent psyker energies that the trap was sprung. Elazar, the trusted aide, now revealed as a traitor, had led Gavril to this forsaken place under the guise of uncovering a crucial piece of the puzzle. As they approached the monolith, Gavril felt a disturbance in the warp, a ripple of psychic energy that set his nerves on edge. Before he could react, the air crackled with power, and from the monolith erupted a blinding beam of energy, encasing him in a field of anti psyche force. The trap, an ancient device designed to nullify psychic abilities, rendered Gavrel powerless, his psyche talents suppressed by the overwhelming technology of a bygone era. Betrayed and ensnared, Gavrel was ambushed by cloaked figures emerging from the mist, Members of the Cult of the Void, their faces hidden behind masks of grotesque design, Elazar stood amongst them, his countenance now one of cold conviction, as if shedding his former identity like a snake discards its skin. Bound and weakened, Gavril was taken through the desolate landscapes of Chaos Ithra, passing through settlements whose inhabitants turned away, either in fear or in silent complicity. He was brought to a hidden sanctum, a place that throbbed with the pulse of dark energies, where the inner circle of the Cult of the Void awaited. In this chamber of horrors, adorned with unsettling symbols and lit by flickering torchlight, Gavrel was subjected to a harrowing ritual. The cultist's chants filled the air, a discordant melody that clawed at his mind. Their intent was clear to open his consciousness to the great void, to expose him to the raw, unfiltered essence of their malevolent deity. As the ritual progressed, Gavrel's reality unraveled. Visions of an endless abyss assaulted him, a cosmic void that devoured light and life with insatiable hunger. The great void whispered of a universe devoid of meaning, a vast emptiness where even the stars were but fleeting distractions in the eternal darkness. Elazar watched, his eyes alight with fervent zeal, a true believer witnessing the manifestation of his god. Gavril, caught in the grip of the ritual, felt his sanity fray at the edges, his mind a battlefield where reason fought against the encroaching tide of madness. 
In this moment of utmost despair, when the darkness seemed inexorable, Gavril's thoughts turned to the one beacon of hope that had always guided him, the Emperor of Mankind. With his psychic power suppressed and his physical strength waning, his only refuge was in prayer. Clinging to the fading embers of his faith, Gavrel silently invoked the Emperor's name, seeking solace in the divine light amidst the overwhelming darkness. In the eldritch darkness of Chaosithra, where the veil between sanity and madness was as thin as the mist that enshrouded its barren landscapes, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavrel found an unexpected ally amidst the ranks of his tormentors. As the ritual of the Cult of the Void reached its feverish climax, a single figure among the cultists faltered, their conviction crumbling under the weight of the horrific reality they had embraced. This disillusioned soul, a young acolyte named Sariel, who had joined the cult seeking the truth about the universe, found themselves recoiling in horror as the Great Void revealed its true nature. In the Inquisitor, bound and broken, Sariel saw not an enemy of their faith, but a fellow seeker of truth, one who had peered into the same abyss and understood its terrifying vastness. In a moment of chaos, as the ritual reached a crescendo of madness, Sariel acted. Utilizing their knowledge of the cult's esoteric practices, they disrupted the psychic field generated by the ancient monolith, creating a brief window of opportunity. Gavrel, his psyche abilities momentarily restored, seized this chance. With a surge of telekinetic force, he shattered his bonds and turned the tide against his captors. The escape was a harrowing ordeal. Gavrel and Sariel fled through the labyrinthine tunnels beneath the cult's sanctum, pursued by the frenzied acolytes. The tunnels, echoing with the howls of their pursuers and the whispers of ancient spirits, seemed to twist and contort in impossible ways. A reflection of the warped reality that the Cult of the Void sought to usher in. Emerging from the bowels of the earth, the unlikely allies found themselves on the desolate surface of Chaosithra, under its oppressive, overcast sky. Here, in the unforgiving wilderness, an uneasy alliance was forged. Gavrel, wary yet cognizant of Sariel's invaluable insights into the cult, agreed to a temporary truce. Sariel, for their part, was driven by a newfound purpose to undo the horror they had unwittingly helped to propagate. Together they unraveled the cult's plans, piecing together a tapestry of forbidden rituals and dark ambitions. The Cult of the Void sought not only to commune with the Great Void, but to become a conduit for its all-consuming nihilism, to bring about an ear of darkness that would engulf the galaxy. In the shadow of this looming catastrophe, Gavrel and Sariel planned their next move. Their goal was clear, to thwart the cult's apocalyptic vision and to seal the breach between reality and the abyss. As they prepared to confront the inner circle once more, Gavrel, ever the skeptic, found himself placing a sliver of trust in Sariel, while Sariel disillusioned with their former beliefs, clung to the hope that redemption lay in their newfound alliance. Under the oppressive skies of Chaosithra, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavril prepared for a confrontation steeped in darkness. To aid in this crucial mission, he summoned a force embodying unwavering faith and martial prowess, the Order of the Radiant Shield, a distinguished battalion of the Adepta Sororitas. These battle sisters, arrayed in their sanctified armor, emblazoned with holy sigils, were the living embodiment of the Emperor's divine fury. Their commitment to the cause of the Imperium was unshakable. Their skills in battle honed through rigorous training and devout prayer. Within the cult's inner sanctum, the ritual led by the ominous Archon Malzareth, thrummed with a malevolent energy that distorted the fabric of reality. His chants were a dark symphony, 
calling forth the abyssal might of the great void, as Gavril and Sariel, accompanied by the resolute order of the Radiant Shield, engaged in the fierce battle, the ancient chamber resonated with the clash of bolter fire, psychic energies, and fervent prayers. The sanctum itself seemed to warp under the strain of such opposing forces, creating a battlefield where reality itself was malleable. In the eye of the tempestuous battle, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavril stood resolute, clutching the ancient tome that had been his constant companion and repository of forbidden knowledge. This venerable book, filled with cryptic writings and esoteric lore, now contained the sealing ritual they had painstakingly devised. A collaboration between Gavril's deep understanding of heretical threats and Sariel's intimate knowledge of the cult's inner workings. As they prepared for the ritual, Sariel, driven by a profound desire for redemption, bravely volunteered for the crucial role at its core. The ritual was a fusion of Gavril's formidable psyker abilities, channeled through the intricate incantations they had inscribed in the tome with Sariel as the focal point, ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. When the final words were spoken, a divine light engulfed Sariel, their essence merging with the rift's energies, sealing the breach. The rift's collapse severed the Great Void's connection, consuming Archon Malzareth in its implosive fury and leaving the cultists leaderless and defeated. In the aftermath, amidst the Sanctum's ruins, Gavrel and the Order of the Radiant Shield acknowledged their hard-won victory. The sacrifice made was significant, but in their hearts there was no room for sorrow. This was a necessary act, a duty fulfilled in the name of the Emperor and the Imperium. They had done what must be done, their resolve strengthened by the belief that their actions were for the greater good of humanity. The Order of the Radiant Shield, staunch in their faith, took solace in the knowledge that their deeds were in service to the Emperor's grand design, a testament to their unyielding commitment to the light of the Imperium. In the quiet that followed, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavril stood reflective, aware that the battle against the cosmic darkness was an ongoing struggle. He knew that he, alongside the Order of the Radiant Shield, would continue to stand as guardians against the encroaching shadows, ever vigilant in their duty to protect the light of mankind from the vast and unknowable horrors that lurked in the depths of the universe. As the dark vessel of Inquisitor Mordecai Gavril drifted away from the desolate sphere of Chaos Ithra, the echoes of its recent horrors lingered in its wake like a malevolent shadow. Gavril, once a man of unshakable resolve, now bore the heavy burden of knowledge that stretched far beyond the confines of human understanding. The experience with the Great Void had left an indelible mark upon his soul, a haunting legacy that would forever color his perception of the universe. Standing in the solitude of his chamber, Gavril gazed out into the vastness of space, his eyes reflecting the cold, unfeeling stars. The cosmos, once a frontier of exploration and discovery, now appeared to him as an endless expanse of lurking horrors and unspeakable truths. The Great Void, though sealed, was but a glimpse into the abyssal depths that lay hidden in the universe's dark corners, beyond the reach of the Emperor's light. With a heavy heart, Gavrel made a decision that echoed the depth of his commitment to the Imperium and the grim duty it entailed. He issued the Order of Exterminatus upon Chaosithra, a final, drastic measure to ensure that no remnants of the cult or their dark deity could ever rise again. As the planet below was consumed by purifying flames, Gavril stood stoic, a solitary figure against the backdrop of destruction. In the eerie calm that followed, as the ashes of Chaosithra were scattered into the void, Inquisitor Mordecai Gavrel turned away from the viewport, his mind already shifting to the next confrontation, the next threat. 
For in the vast, unknowable universe, the horrors that lurked in the darkness were many, and the fight against them was eternal. We hope you enjoyed this story. Please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to check out the playlist in the description, as well as the link to our Spotify podcast, where you can enjoy these stories on the go. Thanks again for listening, and we look forward to seeing you next time.